Oh boy, I am a big fan of epiphytes and these ones right here might just be some of my favorites of all time. So an epiphyte is a plant that grows on top of another plant. Epi meaning on top of, phyte plant on top of another plant. And most often it's different species of mosses, ferns, small shrubs, and even trees in some cases. And out here in Cascadia, one of the most common ones you're ever gonna find is licorice fern, which usually grow on big leaf maple trees and these really thick mats of moss. But out here on the coast, we have its cousin known as leathery polypody, which you can see growing in this cluster here on this gorgeous Western hemlock. Now, licorice ferns have really soft, delicate leaves compared to that of leathery polypody, which are much more thick, coarse, with a, an evergreen quality that makes them really resistant to the brackish salt spray here on the coast, and thus they dominate these areas where licorice ferns are just too dang fragile to survive. Now, their genus name is polypodium, poly meaning many, podium meaning foot, so a many-footed fern as opposed to monopod fern that we see on the ground like deer fern, sword fern, lady fern, shield fern, etc., which all stem from a central cluster of rhizomes. Now, both these species licorice fern and leather polypody grow almost exclusively as an epiphyte from creeping rhizomes or many feet which cling to the tree often under mats of moss and all of this provides an area that collects leaf litter and detritus that breaks down to form a pseudo soil up there in the canopy of the host tree storing moisture and providing home to all sorts of invertebrates microbes and critters in these diverse forest canopies so freaking cool